Dear students, let's study about acids and bases. In smaller classes, you have studied acids are substances, they are sour in taste. They turn blue litmus pepper to red. Acids contain a common factor that is hydrogen. Bases are substances which are sour in which are bitter in taste. Acids are sour in taste, bases are bitter in taste. Bases are slippery, soapy to touch. Bases turn red litmus paper to blue. You have also studied when acids react with the bases, we get salt and water. So in this session we are going to study about various acid base concepts. First one it was given by Arrhenius known as Arrhenius concept of acids and bases. According to Arrhenius concept, acids are substances which when dissolves in water produce hydronium ion. Acids when dissolves in water they produce H plus ion actually. This H plus ion combines with the water molecule and produce hydronium ion. H3O plus ion is called hydronium ion. What are acids according to Arrhenius concept? Acids are substances which when dissolves in water produce hydronium ions. For example, HCl. HCl when dissolves in water, we get what? H3O plus, the H plus ion produced combines with water and form H3O plus plus Cl minus. Now, bases. Bases are substances which when dissolves in water produce OH minus ion. Hydroxyl ion. Bases when dissolves in water produce hydroxyl ion. Example, sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide in water ionizes to give Na plus aqueous OH minus aqueous. Bases when dissolves in water produce hydroxyl ion. But this the concept does not account for the acidity and basicity of certain compounds. There are compounds, acidic substances, which do not produce hydronium ion in water. There are basic compounds which do not produce hydroxyl ions in water. So we need another concept to define such the acidity and basic character of such compounds. That is, that was given by two scientists, Bronsted and Lowry. Bronsted Lowry concept of acids and bases. According to this concept, acids are substances that can donate H plus ion. H plus ions are also called proton. Or we can write acids are proton donors. They can donate proton. Donate H plus I. Donate hydrogen without electron. That is H plus I. Bases are substances which can accept proton. Bases can accept H plus I or proton. That means bases are proton acceptors. Example, HCl. HCl is a bronsted acid. Because HCl can donate H plus ion. HCl is an H plus ion donor. After donating H plus ion, HCl becomes Cl minus. Because this hydrogen atom is removed without electron. So the electron which was shared with hydrogen atom will remain on chlorine atom. Hence chlorine becomes negative. HCl is a bronsted acid. Example for bronsted base, ammonia. Ammonia can accept a proton. Accept a proton. Hydrogen contains no electron. Nitrogen with a bond pair electron. So this bond pair electron is donated to this H plus ion. That means this H plus ion is bonded to nitrogen. Added to this ammonia. So what do we get? NH4. NH3 becomes NH4. Because nitrogen used its bond pair electron for bonding with this proton. Nitrogen becomes positive. Ammonium ion. So it's a proton acceptor. Hence 
Bronsted base. Now let us consider the reaction between HCl and ammonia. Even know HCl can donate a proton to ammonia. HCl is the proton donor, ammonia is the proton acceptor. So what do we get? There is an equilibrium. HCl after donating a proton, after donating a proton to ammonia, HCl becomes Cl minus chloride ion. Plus and this ammonia accepted the proton. After accepting the proton, ammonia becomes ammonium ion, NH4 plus. So in this equilibrium reaction here, we can see HCl is the acid proton donor. H plus 1, H plus is donated to ammonia. Ammonia is the proton acceptor, hence it is the Bronsted base. Now when we consider this HCl and chloride ion, in the backward reaction, chloride changes back to HCl. Chloride is converted to HCl. Means in the backward reaction, chloride is a proton acceptor. Right? So in the backward reaction, chloride is a base. Because it accepts a proton and form HCl. Or we say this is called conjugate base. Conjugate base of the acid HCl. Chloride is the conjugate base of the acid HCl. In a similar way, if you compare ammonia and ammonium ion. Ammonia and ammonium ion. See in the backward reaction, ammonium ion acts as a proton donor. It donates a proton and form ammonia. That means in the backward direction reaction, it is an acid. In fact, it is the conjugate acid of the base ammonia. So we get uh, HCl chloride ion. HCl chloride ion. If HCl is the acid, chloride ion is called the conjugate base. Ammonia, ammonium ion. This is another acid base pair. In which ammonia is the base, ammonium ion is the conjugate acid of the base ammonia. So this acid base pair, HCl and chloride ion, how do they differ from one another? They differ in a proton. Right? When HCl remove one H plus ion, donate one H plus ion, we get chloride. When chloride ion accept an H plus ion, we get HCl. Mean these two species differ in a proton. Such an acid base pair which differ by a proton is called conjugate acid base pair. Conjugate acid base pair. What are conjugate acid base pair? The acid base pair which differ by a proton is called conjugate acid base pair. So this is an example of conjugate acid base pair. Similarly, ammonia, ammonium ion. Here also these two acid base pair differ by a proton. Ammonia when accept a proton, it becomes ammonium ion. Ammonium ion when donate a proton becomes ammonia. Means these two acids and bases differ by a proton. So this is another example of conjugate acid base pair. Or we can write here conjugate acids. How can we write the conjugate acid of a given substance? Conjugate acid has one extra H plus ion. Conjugate acid of a given substance contains one proton extra. Conjugate base contains one H plus ion less. Right? See the conjugate base of chloride ion. It contains one H plus ion less than HCl. Here, ammonia is the base. The conjugate acid of ammonia, how do we get? By adding one H plus ion, NH4 plus. Let us write the conjugate acid base of a given substance. Let's take water. Water molecule. Oh, before we go to water, 
Let us take the HF. HF is an acid. Let us write the conjugate base of HF. How do we get the conjugate base? Conjugate base contains 1 H plus ion less. So how to minus 1 H plus ion? So after removing 1 H plus ion, what do we get? F minus ion. 1 H plus ion is gone. So what is remaining? F minus. This is the conjugate base of hydrogen fluoride or hydrochloric acid. If you take another example, H2SO4, <laughs> sulfuric acid. We want to write the conjugate base of sulfuric acid. What to do? Conjugate base contains 1 H plus ion less. 1 H plus ion is how to minus. So after the removal of 1 H plus ion, what is remaining? 1 H plus ion. Hydrogen without electron is removed. So this pair of electron will remain here. And what do we get? HSO4 minus. Hydrogen sulfate ion or bisulfate ion. This is the conjugate base. Or if you take ammonia. Ammonia, how do we write the conjugate base? By removing 1 H plus ion. If you remove 1 H plus ion, what is remaining? NH2 minus. This is the conjugate base of ammonia. If you take Acetic acid, CH3COOH. How do we get the conjugate base by removing 1 H plus ion? What is remaining? CH3COO minus. Acetate ion is the conjugate base. In a similar way, if you are given, in a similar way, if you are given a base, we can write the conjugate acid of the given base. Can be written. For example, NH2, NH3, again NH3, NH3 is a base, the conjugate acid how do we get, it will contain one extra proton, you have to add one proton to it, so it will become NH4 plus, water molecule, water molecule, add one H plus ion to it, so what do we get, H3O plus is the conjugate acid of water molecule, now HSO4 minus, HSO4 minus ion. This is a base. How do we get the conjugate acid? Add one H plus ion. So it will become H2SO4. NO3 minus. NO3 minus is a base. How do we get the conjugate acid? HNO3. Chloride ion. HCl is the conjugate acid. Clear? So if you are given a species, acid or base, we can write the conjugate base, conjugate acid. Knowing conjugate acid contain one extra proton. Conjugate base contain one proton less. Now we have one more concept for acids and bases. One more acid base concept because this lowery bronsted concept also does not account for all acidic and basic substances. We have acids and bases which do not contain proton, which do not accept proton, which do not donate proton. So in order to account for the acidic character of such species, there came another concept that is Lewis concept. Lewis concept of acids and bases. According to this concept, acids are, acids are, Electron deficient species. Acids are electron deficient. Hence they can act as hence they can accept electron pair. They are electron pair acceptors. These are electron deficient means they can be positively charged ions. Positive ions. Like a H plus ion or metal ion Cu2 plus or Mg2 plus etc. All positively charged ions are electron deficient you know. They can accept electron pair. Hence are Lewis acids. Then electron deficient compound if you are not positive for example BCl3. BCl3 
what will be now? Boron is the central atom, surrounded by three chlorine atom. This is the three boron chlorine bonds. Now around the boron, there are three covalent bonds. Each bond involves two electrons. So around the boron atom, there are six electrons. Boron is electron deficient because it contains only six electrons. Stability will be obtained if the number of electrons around the bonded atom is eight octet. Here it is less than eight electron. That means this molecule is an electron deficient. It has a tendency to accept one electron pair to become stable. So BCl3 is an example of UV's acid. Another example is anhydrous aluminium chloride. Aluminium chloride, aluminium fluoride, BF3, all these are examples of electron deficient compounds, neutral compounds, but they are electron deficient. Hence, Lewis acids. Now, Lewis bases. According to this concept, bases are electron rich species. They contain lone pair electrons. Lone pair electrons are present, hence, they are electron rich. So they can act as electron pair donors. That means they can donate electron pair to other electron deficient species. So bases are, Lewis bases are electron pair donors. So all negatively charged ions, negative ions like fluoride, chloride, bromide or any halide. Hydride, OH minus ion, amide, all negative ions, etc., are all Lewis bases because they are negative. They are electron rich. They can donate electron pair. All these species contain electron pairs. They can, it can be donated to electron deficient substances. And not only negative ion, there are molecules which are electron rich. Neutral molecules also there are electron rich molecules. Example, ammonia. Ammonia is electron rich because nitrogen of the ammonia contains a lone pair electron. This lone pair electron can be donated. Hence, it is an electron pair donor. Ammonia is a Lewis base. Water molecule is a Lewis base because this is also electron rich. Oxygen carries two lone pair electrons. So there are neutral molecules which are electron rich due to the presence of one or more lone pair electrons are also Lewis bases. Clear? Lewis acids are electron pair acceptors. Lewis bases are electron pair donors. These are the examples. Now, so these are the three concepts of acids and bases, Arrhenius concept, Bronsted-Lowry concept and last one, Lewis acid base concept.